This edition of Mac Voices is supported by the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter to keep you up on all the latest from Mac Voices. Watch or listen to Mac Voices straight from your email client. Sign up at macvoices.com slash newsletter and stay up to date. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, the road to Mac's talk officially ends right here, right now, back where we started with a conversation with the organizer, Mr. Mike Potter. Mike, welcome. It's good to see you. Hello, Chuck. I, and uh, you notice I got the memo. We're, we're both wearing red. Yeah, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. You know, it's, I think it's a psychic yeah. bond kind of thing going it's on. It's a psychic bond. Yes. And now I, I have a tradition of surprising you with new and different Mac stock clothing. Last year it was the scarf. We had the scarf. Right. This year I've got the official Mac stock hat here. So. I like it. I like it. So, okay. There you go. That's good. That's good. <laughs> as long as we do no, 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 I'm not going to go anywhere with that. I'm more of a hat guy anyway. Ah, so. Okay, good, yeah. good. Well, as we record this, we're about a week out, give or take. Um, and right. I'm excited. Yeah. To, oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I know. Me too. Um, I'm excited to see, you know, if there are any updates that maybe we haven't talked about or, or as we've done the Road to Max Talk series, if any of our presenters haven't mentioned um, or are things just it was they were planned so well that everything is just right on schedule and perfect. Everything was planned perfectly. The absolutely no errors, hits. No, there were hits. Were there hits? Hits, hits, runs, and errors, right? Okay, so there were there were hits. There were runs. There were probably some errors. Usually, I find out about the errors the day of or or the day before. But I will say that uh, uh, no surprises so far. Uh, you remember last year we had the surprise with the shuttles and the hotels and they weren't getting people over to the conference and things like that. Well, I made sure that wasn't going to happen this year. Uh, uh, so fingers crossed it won't. But these kind of surprises, they usually come up in the, the final days before. So uh, I guess it shouldn't be a surprise to you or anyone else who knows me as a procrastinator that uh, I'm just now getting some of the stuff done that needs to be done. Things like the T-shirts. Those orders are in. I've got a couple little um, uh, cool little things to go in the bag that, that people will get when they uh, get to Mac stock, and those are off being made. I've got a shipment arriving tomorrow. The um, <clears throat> Gosh, all these little things like the ale glasses for the Barry's Midwest Mac Mingle. Everybody who, who goes to the Mingle gets gets a cool ale glass. Uh, I actually got that order in on time, and I'm still waiting for them to show up. So <laughs> I'm, hoping, I'm hoping those show up and that they show up intact. I actually paid a little bit extra to get them um, a packed better so I don't end up with a box of broken glass when they show up. But uh, so, yeah, little things, little things. Yeah, when, when when it comes to doing certain these kind of activities, it seems like you almost sometimes have to let some of this stuff go to the last minute to make sure you order enough, not too much, and you know it doesn't leave, leave a lot of wiggle room just in, in case anything goes wrong. But you know, at the in the end of the day, it's all going to work out. Well, I'll give you a good example. So you you know you know what I was thinking of for this year's logo for the T-shirt. Yes. And uh, I was I was kind of kind of testing the waters with a few people to see what they thought about the logo and things like that, and um, I completely changed my mind. So about a month ago, I, I and, you know I was like oh I don't know I don't like that. But, so about a month ago I had this brainstorm, always dangerous, but I had this brainstorm, came up with an entirely new logo that no one has seen. <laughs> You mean except for me? You mean all those discussions we had over the logo, and and it's completely all those discussions <laughs> out the window. So that's that. You know, I, when something it doesn't sit quite right with me, I t it just sits there and and gnaws and gnaws and gnaws, and and that's kind of how the logo was. It just didn't quite sit right with me, and I said, boy, I I got to come up with something different. And I had I had this brainstorm, and I said, okay, I got this idea. Now nobody can see it, nobody's going to see it. It's only you know, the day you arrive, that's when you get your T-shirt with the logo on it. You get, you get the little thing with the logo on it. The ale glass will have the logo on it. If anyone wants to buy a, a mug this year, that'll have, the lo that'll have the logo. That's last year's. That'll have the logo on it. So, um, yeah, it's, I, I like it being a surprise. And I think maybe that's 
what was gnawing at me? I don't know. But it something about the logo just didn't sit right. And I had this idea and I I showed it to my wife and daughter and they said, oh, we like that a lot better. And I said, I do too. I do too. So that's what we went with. And uh, every, everyone, everyone, except for myself and my wife and my daughter are going to be surprised by this year's logo. Great. Great. I love it. I love it. I like the idea that, that it didn't sit well with you. And so you just, you know, you wait for that inspiration and suddenly it hits. Yep. That's this isn't a, this isn't a tanker. This is a, this is a, a, a speedboat. Wait, what do they say? Like Microsoft is the tanker and the other companies are the, I don't know, and they can turn on a dime and. Oh yeah. I forget. <laughs> Yeah, I, th but there, I think there's a dinosaur reference in there somewhere too. But you know, we, oh, there could be. Yeah, there could be. I'm getting there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting to that dinosaur stage. Well, so when do we start on Saturday, uh, which is July fifteenth? When when should we all plan July to get there? <clears throat> okay, so uh, check in uh, begins at eight a.m. on Saturday the fifteenth, and the actual event, the conference, starts at nine a.m. So uh, we should be. But, you know, again, I'll, I'll bring up my wife and my daughter here. They are incredibly efficient with getting everybody their their name tags and their little swag bags and all that kind of stuff and getting everybody checked in and ready to go. And that that check in desk is right outside the conference hall. So people can just grab that bag and go in. And uh, actually, I think a lot of folks actually enjoy coming into the conference hall and seeing us scramble around and get ready for it to start at nine o'clock. But uh, I'll take the stage at nine and just kind of uh, welcome everybody. And then uh, I believe I turn it over to you. You're the first speaker this year. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have the impression you just wanted to get me out of the way. And then that, then all the good <laughs> stuff comes. So that could be, but that could yeah. be, I'll never tell. Yeah. <laughs> so then we go what the whole way through to, to what time on Saturday? Okay, so the, it's a full day. Uh, we have two full days this year. Last year it was a full day on Saturday, and it was a half day on Sunday. This year we have two full days. So 9 a.m. until lunch. We're going to break for lunch. Everybody's going to uh, – oh, I guess I could I could announce what we're having for lunches this year. Oh. Uh, people have always enjoyed the lunches, the um, – the, um, the culinary staff at the school is, is fantastic, and they – they really work well with me when people have dietary restrictions and things like that, or if I just want something a little bit different. In fact, Saturday's lunch is not on their their list of choices at all. I was going through their, their list, and I said, well, that sounds kind of good, but I'd like something. Oh, well, we'll just come up with something for you. So Saturday, we're going to have a taco bar. That's Saturday's lunch is a is a big spread big taco bar it's going to be good for uh, uh, people who have um, a dietary restrictions you know gluten-free and vegetarian and all this stuff we're going to get everybody's bases covered there and uh, so that'll be a nice a nice break midday and then uh, after that we're going to uh, start the afternoon with the my Mac game show quiz which is going to be new and it's going to be a little fun uh, something we've never done before, and uh, I, I know they mentioned it on Road to Mac Stock, but Guy and Tim said that uh, they used to do this at Macworld, and they wanted to uh, try it at Mac Stock, and I said, absolutely, let's give it a try. So uh, we've got a lot of fantastic prizes lined up. McCallie is back with a whole box full of goodies that we're going to give away. We've got a lot of software licenses that we're going to give away, and um, I believe there's some iPad stands from Thought Out. Uh, mm -hmm. Thoughtout.biz are going to have some iPad stands and just some really cool stuff. And all you have to do is know your Apple stuff, and the, and, and they'll award you a prize. So that's going to be fun. And then uh, we'll we'll go the rest of the afternoon with uh, some uh, deeper dives, and we'll have a couple more uh, talks. And then we're going to end up at five o'clock. That's the end of the day on on uh, Saturday. And then of course after that. Stop me when you when when you want to stop yeah. me. But after that, we've got the Midwest Mac Mingle. This is Barry Folk's uh, event, and that's going to be held in Woodstock, in the historic square of Woodstock. It's at a, a location called Mix and Mingle, right on the square. 
And uh, boy, gosh, he's going to have um, appetizers and desserts, and he's going to have a, a 70s cover band, which I was trying to find out more about. And he's keeping it kind of under wraps, like I have my logo under wraps. He's keeping he's keeping everything under wraps, but he promises a fantastic night for everyone. Uh, the only thing I can tell you about the <laughs> Barry's Midwest Mac Mingle is that everyone who goes is going to get that ale glass that I'm waiting on and haven't received yet but they should be here soon i, I promise they'll be here soon and then uh let's see what we're, we're gonna wrap up that night if anyone wants to stay in woodstock there's lots of great restaurants there's a, a movie theater you know if you just want to come to the mingle and spend an hour or two and then go catch a movie right around the corner there's a, a fantastic old cinema that uh, has recently been refurbished and if you're lucky enough to get in theater one which is the original, you can check out the dome ceiling and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's a really nice theater, inexpensive tickets, and there's lots of restaurants up and down Main Street there. So if for some reason you're you're done with the mingle and you, you want to go head out on your own, lots of really cool stuff to do in Woodstock that night. And then uh, then I'm going to crash <laughs> after that. Yeah, but you get up and start again the next day. And then we have a whole nother day on Sunday. So on Sunday, we start again, uh, registration check-in, because there are some folks who are there Sunday only. Uh, registration check-in should be a little bit quicker this year, and uh, that, again, starts at 8, and uh, it, the uh, conference starts at 9, and again, we'll go up to lunch, and that is going to be, uh, that's a, a stir-fry uh, bar. So mm -hmm. there'll be chicken for people who want it, uh, vegetarian for people who want it. It's going to be, you know, again, gluten-free, all that stuff. So um, that's going to be a really good lunch, too. And then uh, we go back to the conference hall, finish up the afternoon, and again, it wraps up at 5. The full schedule of all the talks and when the deeper dives are and all that stuff is at maxdoc2017.com. So you can go there and just click on schedule and, and check it out if you want to see what's coming up. Well, as you probably know, I, at the end of each Max Talk, uh, Road to Max Talk episode, I've been basically pleading with people, come, because you're going to have such a great time. I don't want you to miss it. You know, I know how much right. fun we had. I'm delighted that you, you decided to do a full two days, especially for the second, because last year you wrapped up around noon. And then I, right. th I think the entire <laughs> Max Talk crowd, not not the, just the, the speakers, but pretty much everybody that was still in town descended on a restaurant or two. And, <laughs> they did. you know, it just they nobody did, yeah. wanted to go home. And so this right. this way, you know, yeah, we, we wrap up the entire weekend. That's that's terrific. That's terrific. Yeah. And uh, folks who are staying in town can still do that. Uh, I think everyone, uh, well, at least I caught up with it, at least half of the crowd at a restaurant in crystal lake that was fun they had outdoor seating and r really good food i'd actually never eaten there before so <laughs> great place and um then we all uh well we all a, a good a good bunch of folks caught up again on monday morning for breakfast before they had to run out and catch their plane so you can do that uh, i know there are a few people who are going to stick around and go into into the city uh, for the rest of the week and just kind of make a full kind of vacation event out of Max Stock Weekend. So uh, it's really up to you. Uh, th so that I guess that's the, I guess that would be the only downfall to having a full day Sunday is that if anyone were only there for the two days and they were kind of looking forward to those couple hours where they could go explore, well, that well, I guess they could. They, they could get up and they could leave and they could go explore if they want to, but they'll miss some really good talks if they do that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I think that would be the one downfall. But then again, maybe it does encourage folks to stick around and and uh, make a longer weekend of it. And you know, the reason we're coming is not is not the Chicago tourism, but it's Max Talk. It's the speakers, it's the friends, the people you meet. Yeah. Well, it is. And, uh, you know, I think one of the things that has impressed me is uh, since the first Max Stack, the number of folks who I, I either knew peripherally or, 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 or didn't know at all have really become regular uh, uh, contacts for me, regular friends. Uh, and it'll be good to see them again this year. And, um, boy, you know, I sure have um, broadened, broadened my um, – uh, a circle of uh, Mac acquaintances just just because of Mac stock. 
so I guess it was a little selfish on my part too that that I I threw Max Dock because uh, I got to meet all these great people. You just go right ahead, keep being selfish, keep being <laughs> selfish because it it it, you know I I realized what this must sound like to people who don't come or can't come that you know we're gushing over it constantly, but it was just it was it was such a well done conference. Forget the Mac part, it was just a well done conference. And then to add in, you know, so many, so many great people, and and a lot of us, yes, a lot of us know know each other, and a lot of us do podcasts and all that. But there are also plenty of people that you know you didn't know, and I know I made multiple friends um, both years, and you know it's great to to get back together and see them for for that weekend, and you know I know that there'll be once again new friends this year, so it's it's always a good time. Well, I think one of the things that's been the most exciting to me is seeing some of the folks, uh, speakers and non-speakers alike, just folks who met up at MaxDoc, continuing that relationship. Uh, I know some some folks have been on your show. Uh, folks have been on Don McAllister's Screencasts Online. Uh, folks are are writing for different blogs and things like that, simply because they met up at MaxDoc, and that's so incredibly gratifying to see that because that's kind of one of the things that's at, at the core of MaxDoc is this community. MaxDoc has always been about community. Yes, there's this educational component of it where uh, speakers get up and they t- you know they share some of their knowledge about something about the Mac or, or, or iOS, whether it be the iPhone or iPad or what have you. Um, but the community has always been at the heart of MaxDoc and uh, certainly was at the heart of its genesis because it was, it was Barry's desire to get people together for the very first Midwest Mac barbecue that allowed me to initially piggyback off of that and start Mac stock. So uh, that that one day event, the first year, 2015, that one day event has since blossomed into something that, you know, the two of us really work well together. We've known each other for many, many years. So to have our two events running the same weekend, uh, there's just a really nice synergy between them. And uh, now he's trying something new this year. We're both trying something new this year. And having the Midwest Mac Mingle uh, Saturday night, it just gives people a chance to relax and, well, mingle, to mingle, <laughs> to to in, enjoy the company of those who are attending the conference with them, uh, which admittedly you can't always do uh, when you're sitting there, you know, through a talk. Yeah. I, I, I love the idea that Mac's talk – the Midwest Mac Barbecue, now the Mac Mingle. Yeah, I love the the idea that the whole I- event or the two events are evolving. You know, that they're not just okay. Mm-hmm. We did this this year, and now we're going to do the same thing next year, and the same thing next year. You know, you're right. you're always experimenting, trying new things. I hope that continues. That you keep the best, the very best of the previous years, and then add new things that you know may turn into some of the very best that year. Well, quite honestly, again, going back to I hate to. <clears throat> sound like I'm, I'm, you know, beating this to death. But going back to the idea of community, a lot of the changes I made for MaxDoc this year actually came from the attendees. Uh, we had a, a brief survey last year. We'll have another survey again this year. You know, how can we make MaxDoc better for you? And, uh, and I know that was something that you had shared with me too. That that idea of how can how can we make MaxDoc or how can we make Event X better for you? And uh, that's really the the reason I put out the survey, because I want that feedback. And there was some critical feedback. Um, uh, there was some very generous feedback, but it all was taken into account. And there are a couple of things I'm doing differently this year just to see how they work. So, for example, we have <clears throat> three um, <laughs> double length talks. Uh, there are 45-minute talks versus the 20-minute talks. And the whole idea behind that is to see how they play for people. Some folks said they they would like some longer talks. So, okay, we're going to have a couple longer talks this year. And then we'll get the feedback from people and see, how did you like that compared to the 20-minute talk? Did you feel like maybe there was, uh, you know, maybe the speaker didn't uh, zero in and didn't focus as much as, as the folks who give a 20-minute talk did? And that might not make it feel like you got as much information. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that people are just going to naturally expand what their what what their talk is about, and um, maybe instead of focusing on one thing, focus on two things or or what have you. 
But it'll be interesting to see how people feel about that versus the original format, which was that 20-minute format. And uh, maybe maybe Mac stock will evolve again for the fourth year and um, we'll we'll do something different. And uh, it, it might mean fewer speakers. You know, those are the, those are some of the things that come into play is if people say, all right, we we really enjoyed the 45 minute talks. We thought they were much more beneficial. We felt like we learned a lot more in that time versus the 20 minutes. And I say, OK, well, the majority of folks say that they really like these 45 minute talks. So Max Talk 4, we have to, um, well, we don't have to, but I'd like to accommodate that, right? I mean, that's that's sure. the idea. I'd like to accommodate folks' desire to have longer talks. So what does that mean? Well, I'd still like to do two days if we can, but it might mean fewer speakers. It might mean half the number of, of speakers. Is that OK? Yeah. You know, those, those kind of things. So, um yeah, it's it. Having more speakers is just more people to wrangle. Having fewer speakers, fewer people to wrangle. But it 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 just kind of um, it'll all be determined by the folks who attend and uh, and and what they tell me when it's all over. Yeah, and I mean it's not necessarily about the number of speakers either. It's, it's about the topics. This year, just like the, the prior years. You're covering a lot of different topics. I mean, that that's always kind of the beauty right. is, you know, okay, if, if this one doesn't apply to you or if you're not interested in this one, just wait, a, a, you know, 20 minutes or in a couple cases, 40 minutes, and you'll have a whole new topic to deal with. It's not like, you know, right. and so, you know, there's that question too is, is do you try to do that that shotgun approach and, and cover a lot of topics or do you try to narrow it down and cover a few or, if, you know, in, in the cases of plenty of conferences out there, you know, you narrow it down further and cover one and just attack one from different angles. There, there's no right or wrong formula. It's just, you know, like you say, experimenting and seeing what the audience wants and then trying to deliver on that. Yeah, if I, if I don't get any, um, you know, just in regards to what we've been talking about, the length of the talks, let's say I, I don't get any definitive feedback that says we really want 45 minutes or we really want the 20 minutes. Well, I'll, I'll probably just stick with the formula that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, folks seem to enjoy it. Uh, what you said uh, just a moment ago, there's actually, I, I've been collecting quotes about MaxDoc, and one of the quotes about MaxDoc is about the length of the topic. And uh, it's from someone I know very well, and, and it's along the lines of, uh, you know, I'm going to paraphrase here because I don't remember the exact quote, but um, if if the topic doesn't interest you, just wait 20 minutes and something new will come along. And uh, a, a lot of folks do like that and they do enjoy that. And a lot of it does come down to uh, the speaker's ability to, to focus, you know, to narrow in on just, you can't, you can't fit everything about a topic into 20 minutes, let's be honest. So oh, no. you zero in on, on something and you say, okay, this is what I'm gonna talk about. Uh, so for example, I'm actually, provided nothing goes wrong, I'm actually going to give a talk this year as well. Oh. And my talk will be on Affinity Photo, but it's on one very narrow bit of Affinity Photo, this really cool feature of it that I happen to take advantage of because I like to take uh, photosphere pictures. Now, I'm not going to say that too much because I, I don't want to say the word sphere, sphere, sphere over and over because it's going to start to sound weird. <laughs> but I like to take photosphere pictures, those um they're not 360 degree. They actually, you know, they include the sky and the ground and, and all that kind of stuff. But there's a really neat feature in Affinity Photo that allows you to edit those. Mm. And I just wanted to show people about that because I, I stumbled across it myself. I thought, hey, gosh, this is really cool because now that little that little chunk in, in my photosphere that, that really kind of ruined the whole image, I can edit that now. I can take that out and, you know, perfect the image like I would any other image in Photoshop or, or affinity, you know, any two dimensional image in Photoshop or, or, um, affinity photo. So kind of a neat feature. And that's what my talk is on. So it's a very narrow niche feature of affinity photo, but that's what the time allows for. And if folks like it, then next year I might do another talk on affinity photo or I might do another talk on something entirely different. But that's, like you said, that's the nice thing about it is that the, the talks are wide and they are varied. And they, well, first of all, I'm, I'm so glad you did this because now I can truly say I've had a chance to have every single presenter 
on the road to Max Talk. So yeah, because I yes. I didn't know that you were doing that. Um, but no, and and the thing about the twenty minute talks that I like is that I'm I'm going to sit through pretty much every one I can, even if I'm even if I don't think I'm interested, because I've had this experience right. now two years in a row at Max Talk where. Something came, you know, one of the topics came up and it's like, well, okay, I'm not going to bother to get up. I'll just see what they have to say. And I came away, you know, just in, in, enamored with the topic and, and right. went to learn more. So, you know, I think that that is great. It's not supposed to be a, 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 an all-inclusive kind of discussion. It's supposed to be just an, an almost an introduction to the topic. And then if you want more. Find the speaker in the hallway, or go to the deeper dive if they have one. And you know, right. and I, I, I think I can speak for every single speaker out there that you know, if if somebody is is really anxious to know more or, uh, or or learn more about what the particular topic is, all of the speakers are going to be accessible. All you have to do is find them on Twitter or email or Facebook or wherever, and they'll answer your questions. I, I'm I'm Absolutely. very certain of that. Yeah, <clears throat> one of the. One of the ideas behind 20 minutes is, yes, it allows speakers to zero in, but the other idea behind it is that it, it does exactly what you said. It encourages people to approach that speaker or approach the other attendees who may be sitting right next to them. Say, oh, God, did, 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 you, did you get what he or she was just saying? I mean, <laughs> did you understand that? And then this, this dynamic starts. Mm. You know, you've got a conversation going between two people here, and maybe those two people then pick up and they go meet up with the speaker out in the hallway or whatnot. So uh, that is one thing I'm doing a little bit differently this year is <clears throat> between the talks last year, I had 10 minutes. And that was tough because there wasn't enough time really to get up and to do some of that mingling. Um, and and, and in, some, in some respects, there wasn't enough time to get set up for the next talk. Right. So our, our volunteer... Brian, uh, I had some conversations with him and I said, what do you think about the idea of taking these two 20 minute talks and putting five minutes between them? So it'll be, it'll be tighter in between the talks, but then that gives us 15 minutes in between these groupings. So we're going to have a talk, five minutes, a talk, 15 minutes, and it's going to mm -hmm. kind of go like that all day long. So 15 minutes is just enough time, I think, to start these conversations and then pick up again when that next 15 minute cycle comes along. So uh, that'll be good. And then the other thing that's good too, is it will encourage people to go out and maybe stop by and visit. Um, uh, well, one of our sponsors is OWC and uh, OWC Digital. And they have been a fantastic supporter of MaxDoc since day one. Uh, they are um, actually right up the road. Their corporate headquarters is literally right up the road from Max Doc. Um, so maybe that had something to do with it, but they have been wonderful supporters of it. They're wonderful supporters of the community, just the, the, the community in, in general, you know, ball teams and schools and, and that kind of stuff. And they've been a great supporter of it. And they're going to be there again with a table and they're going to have a, a big giveaway. So, uh, you know, that's a surprise for folks if we're going to have a big giveaway from OWC digital, but I would encourage people to go out and, and chat them up and find out about their latest products because they are a company that's dedicated to the Apple platforms, whether it's iOS or whether it's the Mac, um, they, they're it, almost entire. In fact, I think their entire product line, I don't think they have anything for any other line of computers other than Apple products. And that's how they've been since they started. So definitely go out and, and, and chat them up because um, – and thank them. Thank them for supporting MaxDoc and thank uh, all the other sponsors as well. I'll have them all listed. Everybody will be there. They're all on the, the MaxDoc website because they all help make it happen and they all, all help it um, be a fun event for everyone. Yeah. So, okay, so you've, you've laid a couple surprises on us, including a presentation by Mr. Mike Potter. I probably like that. Yeah, um, yeah, that's good. Not on the schedule. Not a, see, that's one of those things. It's it's not on the schedule because I'm I'm the last speaker of the entire weekend. I set myself up as the last speaker for the entire weekend because I have a feeling, just based on the first two years, I have a feeling that something may go wrong at some point. Not that we can't recover from it. Not that we can't get around it because that's what we've done every year. 
And, uh, you know, not, not, not that it's going to be insurmountable or anything, but I have a feeling that maybe something might come up. So I'm the last speaker on the last day, the end of the day, just in case we need that time. But if we don't need that time, yes, I will be on stage talking about Affinity Photo and editing Photosphere images, or as they like to call them, uh, I had to write this down because I wanted to make sure I got it right. Equa rectangular projections. Oh, that's what, that's what they're called. <laughs> Infinity photo. Oh, okay. But they're called I call them photosphere photospheres. That's what I call them. Okay, good. Good. So again, as we started this out, we're about a week out. Um, can people yes. still attend? Is it too late? Do you absolutely do you shut down registration at any point? Uh, we'll actually allow people to walk in on Saturday if they want to. Um, it's it's better if you register ahead of time. In fact, it, there's still time to register and 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 get a T-shirt and things like that. Um, I believe it was uh, well, it was this week actually. I had to uh, just for practical purposes, I had to change the T-shirt sizes that people could select when they're ordering a ticket to large and extra large. But um, I, you know, if, if someone wants to. Uh, get a different size or something, I can always make arrangements for them and mail it to them afterward or whatnot. But just for practical purposes, there are certain things that I need to have account for. And the t-shirts are one of them. Uh, the food is another one of them. Uh, but the, again, the cafeteria staff, the the, the uh, catering staff, I should say, of MCC is fantastic. And, you know, a couple people walking in on that day, we're going to be good. Right. So no problem. Okay. We don't want 100 people showing. Well, I mean, uh, if 100 people want to show up on Saturday, it's fantastic. We'll order, Come on in. We'll order Come pizza. on in. Yeah. Come join yeah. us. We'll, we'll order pizza yeah. or something. But yeah, that would be kind of tough on them because they won't have planned for an extra 100 people. Right. But uh, otherwise, yeah, those those are the kind of things that we need to account for. But otherwise, you're welcome to, to come in and purchase a ticket the day of the conference as well. Okay, so Tim Cook, if you're listening... Please, I know Mike would op welcome you with open arms. You know, I I think if Tim Cook showed up, I'd I'd probably compliment compliment ticket. Uh, it's probably I'd, I'd probably yeah I'd probably do that. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, probably a good yeah. idea. Why? Well, Good to see, my, Mike. I can't wait. I'm, I'm, you know, I've, I've said it so many times. I know people are probably sick of listening to it, but I absolutely can't wait to see everybody, to see the presentations, to get together with friends, to meet new friends, to see you again. Um, you've set a standard for excellence with Mac with Mac Stock that I only wow. expect to continue and get better. And and oh yeah, there's one other thing I want to want to just mention that I think I heard. Um, I'm not sure if commitment is the word, but definitely plans for Mac Stock 4. Have I been committed? What, what, is that what you're well, saying? Yeah, there is that. I, I may be. I may be committed. Yeah. Is that what you're asking? No. Mac Stock 4? Um, you know, I I can't help but do this. <laughs> so we're we're a week, as you said, a week away from Mac Stock 2017, but I can't help but think about what I might do for next year. In fact, I've even thought about what I might do for Mac Stock 5 Ooh. already. Ooh. So that's that's my own personal goal. We're going to get at least to Mac Stock 5. But just so people are aware, I've registered the Mac Stock year domain names for like 15 years out. So <laughs> we're, we're good to go. As long as people keep showing up. I'll keep having Mac Stock. How about that? That's that's great. That's great. All right, I'm I'm putting that as a perpetually repeating event on my calendar. I have to be around too. I mean if you Well, know, yeah, but you know. Yeah. You feeling okay? There's that. Okay. I'm feeling okay. okay good. I'm feeling right. fine. Just yeah. Thought I'd ask. I'm just saying. I mean that would be a requirement, <laughs> yeah. right? So I got the domain names. I, I I need because I, I I really don't think my wife and daughter want to do this. I think this is this is on me. So <laughs> If, uh, yeah, I need to be around, but I planned, I plan to be around. I'm just saying, okay. you know, yeah. okay. This interview is completely off the rails, <laughs> but that's, that it seems to happen with us was, for some reason. It was going to be off the rails the moment I picked up yeah, the phone. True. So true. Yeah. So maxdoc2017.com go now, get your tickets. If you, and, and obviously I, there are hotel rooms left. Um, if you need to make plane reservations, yeah. there's still plenty of time. Um, and if you can't do any of that and you still are in the area or can get to the area, just walk in and, and, and if, if you're Tim Cook, Mike will probably comp you. Come on in. 
come on in, Tim. Uh, I, I you mentioned the hotels. I do want to mention uh, real quick, yeah, please. So the hotel, all, three hotels set aside room blocks, and all of those room blocks, and the time people will hear this, have expired. Mm-hmm. Um, but it doesn't mean they don't have rooms. It just means that the the special pricing has expired. And again, that's just one of those timing things. The hotels have to, you know, they have to plan. Sure. They have to know how many people are going to be there, and uh, they can't leave the blocks open forever. And the the traditional time to leave open a block is up until thirty days before an event, whatever that event is. And in this case, uh, that time has unfortunately expired. But there are plenty of hotels in the area. Uh, the three who've offered room blocks are still listed on the Max Stock site, but you'll see that they they show as the blocks are closed. Doesn't mean you can't call them. Doesn't mean you can't get a room. Um, but I just wanted to mention that in case anyone yeah. was was uh, no, wondering. No, no, I'm glad you made the point because you don't want to. You, I don't want somebody going to the website saying, "Oh, the, the room blocks are all closed or gone." You know, and so obviously I can't right. come. No, you can come. We'll find a place for come you. Come on, we'll find a place. We'll find a place. There's camping. There's plenty of places to camp. <laughs> okay. That we we'll probably set up a van down by the river for anyone who uh, yeah. Barry's backyard. Yeah, Barry's backyard. I'll, I'll I'll just I'll just offer Barry's backyard to anyone who wants to. I, knowing Barry, he wouldn't mind a bit. He, he wouldn't mind. Yeah, I don't think he'd mind. <laughs> no, I, I he'd probably mind. Yeah. yeah, we'll talk to his wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mike, it's great to see you. I look forward to seeing you in person um, in about a week. I look forward to seeing you too, Chuck. And thanks again for this Road to Max Stock series. You did it last year. You did it again this year. Oh my gosh, it is just fantastic. I love seeing all these because each and every time I watch one, I learn something about the speaker. So I can't imagine that other folks watching this don't learn something as well. So it's it's really a great thing that you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank you to your audience for putting up with them all. But I, I hope they enjoyed them, and I hope that it, it, it at least inspired a few people to come out and join us at MaxDoc. Because why would you not want to meet this man right here? That this is where you switch to you oh, on the camera. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> this man. You want to meet this man. See, I'm actually pointing down at you because, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. This, that, wherever you put yourself... Why would you not want to meet this man? Come out to Max Stock and meet him. He's he's really a great guy. Well, thank you. If if you haven't been able to tell already, huh. but uh, thank you very much for doing Road to Max Stock again. Great series. I enjoy him immensely, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at Max Stock. Well, then we will both be there. We'll both be shaking hands with people and welcoming them, and maybe directing them to Barry's backyard. I don't know. <laughs> no. See you in a week, Mike. All right. Thanks so we'll see much. You. Thanks, Chuck. Folks, last time, Max Talk 2017. Get your tickets now, or if you can't, definitely walk up, but, but get to Woodstock, Illinois. We're going to have a blast. We really want you with us. Until the next time, I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit MacVoices.com for show notes, links to subscribe, and to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, the Mac Voices blog, the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter, and on Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard that helps you do more with your Apple tech. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.